Let's begin in the UK where British company Smith and Usman Limited and two of its senior most officials, Christopher John Smith and Nicholas Charles Smith, were on Monday found guilty of corruptly agreeing to make payments to officials of the Interim Independent Electoral Commission and the Kenya National Examinations Council to influence awarding of tenders in their favor. Now, the two were found to have worked with their Kenyan agents, Trevi James Oyombra, between 2008 and 2010 to corruptly make payments to top Kenya Electoral Commission and Examinations Council officials as an inducement to win tenders for printing of electoral materials. IEBC Chairman Isaac Hassan, former IEBC Chief Executive Officer James Oswago and Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir are among those who have been adversely mentioned top defunct IIEC officials who corruptly aided in awarding of tenders to Smith & Usman Company fraudulently. Now, Samogina joins us on phone. Um, the UK convictions of Smith and Usman senior officials, um, does this have any implications here in Kenya, especially given the names of the top electoral officials who were drugged in court over this scam? Rightly so. It is, in fact, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission actually dispatched some of its offices uh, to follow the proceedings right from the UK in the UK court. And uh, what uh, EACC intends to gain from this is actually that... Uh, given that they, they, uh, actually the proceedings have yielded into, have secured a conviction, the ACC expects to actually also get evidence from the Serious Fraud Office of the UK. Remember that uh, the Serious Fraud Office uh, is the institution that has actually been uh, prosecuting this case. It has been following it up since uh, 2010, and that is a period of four years. And uh, in November, that's when the trial began. So it's a month trial that has actually uh, happened and it has secured a conviction. So ESCC and the Serious Fraud Office actually have a mutual legal assistance understanding of some sort whereby uh, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission can actually get evidence from the Serious Fraud Office and now go ahead and also prosecute some of the individuals that were named in the court proceedings. And as you rightly put it right there is that uh, some of these top officials of the defunct IEEC, uh, that is uh, the chairman then, is a person who doubles up as the chairman of, that is IEBC, Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the former CEO James Sotago, and also Davis Churchill, as, uh, that is who acts now as a substantive energy cabinet secretary. Now, it is, if I just want to put things into perspective, is that, uh, uh, Smith and Usman is actually accused of uh, uh, dishing out 49.3 million shillings through its local proxy in Kenya. It's called the Trevi Gem uh, or, or Yombra. And now I just spoke to the EACC uh, spokesman, it's called Yasinaela, uh, during, uh, early in the day, and he said that, in fact, EACC had gone ahead to freeze Oyombra's account, but uh, Oyombra went to court to try to have his account activated, but that, that happened. Now, it is 49.3 million shillings is the amount that actually uh, Smith and Usman is accused of uh, trying of bribing officials uh, is both in uh, IEBC and also uh, the examination council. Okay. Um, Guinness, sorry. Specific, Sam, I'm, I'm sorry for interjecting. Allow me to just jump in there because uh, that figure that you're mentioning, I know that um, this company, Smith & Usman Limited, are said to have fraudulently and corruptly given this money to four different countries. Do we know how much of that money came to Kenya? 49.3 million shillings actually is the actual amount that came to Kenya. The whole amount that went to the four countries is 70 approximately 70 million shillings and this amount went to was distributed to kenya ghana somaliland and Mauritania. it is all right now samu gina um you are telling me that the ESCC is looking into convicting people locally but do we know why they haven't been doing that concurrently given that the uk court actually thanked the kenyan government for cooperating with them during this investigation well, uh, it is what uh, I got from ESCC is that uh, they need to get some of the, the hard evidence from uh, the Serious Ford Office of the UK. Remember that uh, the SFO, that is the Serious Ford Office of the UK, 
relied heavily on uh, uh, email conversation between the officials in the UK and their proxy and also officials uh, at, the I, at the IEBC. Uh, some of also correspondence between these uh, organizations and also the transactions, some of them uh, were some of the materials that the serious fraud office relied heavily on convicting. And uh, it is, if it just bring you to speed, is that uh, uh, some of the tenders that uh, Smith and Usman benefited by way of bribing uh, per se, uh, they actually got seven tenders to supply ballot papers, voter registration forms, voter ID cards and nomination uh, papers. And most of these actually went to the printing of electoral materials for the 2010 constitution referendum and actually four parliamentary by-elections that were held in Shinyalu, Bamachoge, South Mugirango, Matuga, as well as, as our civic uh, polls for those specific uh, constituencies. It is well, thank you very much, Sam Mugina. He is following that story for us. And, of course, will give us more uh, details in our subsequent bulletins, so do stay tuned for that. But in case you missed it, British company Smith & Usman Limited and two of its senior most officials um, were on Monday found guilty of corruptly agreeing to make payments to officials of the defunct IIEC and, of course, the Kenya National Examinations Council.